Good morning. I successfully finished my 12 days of Christmas sale. I'm now at yesteryear. I just got back from New York City last night and I was trying to pack orders and get everything situated for the next week. And I was just like, I need to be removed. And what's my favorite place to unwind? Yesteryear Antique Center in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Let's go in and see what they got. It's been 13 days since I've been here. gosh so i can't lie i saw a picture of this online but i had no idea how actually fabulous it was this thing is insane dude 40 percent off 195 it's oversized which is like i don't know I don't know if I can justify oversize and like the spots coming off a little bit, but like still, I don't know what to do about this. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do in this situation. I really didn't realize how big it was. I think I'm gonna walk around and uh, I do see some other stuff that I'm kind of interested in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take like a deep breath and come back. Dude, it is insanely busy here. Uh, it's also like a Thursday morning, which is kind of insane. All right, so these guys are $6 for the pair plus 30% off. It does have like a little bit of wear at the tip of the ear, which I'm not so sure about. I'm going to be extremely picky because I'm kind of overwhelmed with uh, how behind I am. Um... Of course, I'm going out of town again next week, so I only have so much uh, time to get in my videos and uh, get my schedule for after Christmas ready. Lots of fun stuff, but again, I'm trying to be super, super picky. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. $14, wind up walrus moves, plus 30%. That's amazing. I think we need that. Yeah, for $10, I feel like that seal was kind of a no-brainer. Um, what is this one? Summit glass, $9, not bad. I can't lie, I'm a little christmas out after uh, doing 12 days in a row of <laughs> themed sales that like kind of circled around Christmas. Obviously, I'm gonna get anything that's like super special Christmas, but trying to use a little bit of discretion what is this guy right here oh my gosh how fabulous it's really priced well but unfortunately it's super heavy it would cost a fortune to ship that that's straight chalkware i love the mickey as well he's kind of got the right patina going on 48 bucks for a collector i feel like that's super fair oh and 15 percent off yeah. Again, being super picky. I'm in a weird mood too after just getting off the train from three days in New York City. Let's see, 20% off. These are really pretty. Pink opalescent, Westmoreland Lotus candle holders. So that would be like $25 for the pair. I'm not sure how much more I could get out of those. We've been having a good time uh, checking out this booth. Lots of fun little ornaments. Again, uh, they wouldn't arrive in time for Christmas. Not that that really matters, but oh my gosh, wait, stop. Santa coin purse, $6. That's a no-brainer. These are pretty hard to find, and that vinyl material uh, rips really easily. So that's a steal. And 10%. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. Let's get that. And I love this little flocked Humpty Dumpty. I'm kind of tempted to pick him up too. What's going on with the black glass swans? Those are kind of neat. And uh, I love the Fenton trees. Those are really pretty. Let's see, anything else that's like really, really necessary? I don't know. That blue Viking is amazing. I would never want to ship that though. <laughs> Ooh, but what one's this? 10 inch Westmoreland. That's pretty. It's got a little decal on it. I mean, come on. 
that's eight dollars and twenty percent off i feel like i can't go wrong with that i'll just take that six bucks not bad and what's over here the jadeine i think we looked at that last uh shop along there's a lot of stuff that i haven't seen here the last times this is really pretty the uh cut to clear i've always had kind of a soft spot for this red bowl it's so heavy though again like i'm just trying to think about shipping costs i know the buyer pays but if a buyer's paying like 20 dollars to ship something they don't want to pay as much for it so i factor that into all my stuff now this vendor has had some awesome stuff recently this is kind of a newer vendor this is very cool this is eight dollars you see blue blown glass compote and i love all the red what is that haul yeah, all. Oh, that's awesome. That's good stuff. They have such good prices in this booth. Still looking for that special something, though. And then on the shelves, a lot of milk glass. I feel like milk glass has made a real comeback. Like this. This is $6. Should I get one? I have a big vase right now. Maybe I'll, I'll leave it since I have the big milk glass pop mill vase, but it's six bucks. No, I've had it recently. Let it go. Maybe another time. This is very cool. This is uh, Czechoslovakian, if I'm not mistaken. No, it looks like the Czech pattern. Just kidding. It's not what I thought. I have a trinket box that's like that. That's uh, Czechoslovakian right now. And then over here wow these are awesome the little silk these are very cool is this bbp eldris eldris snowman 14 dollars well i feel like that's a really good deal i didn't really have much luck on my one eldris piece but it was a more common one i feel like this is a pretty awesome snowman for 14 dollars i am going to look up comps just right quick because i don't want to get burned but it's a snowman yeah the comps were very good anywhere from 60 70 to like 160 <laughs> kind of all over the place but either way definitely worth a 14 dollar uh, buy-in all right well i am obsessed with this wood santa let's see he is he is wood. he's 25 dollars 22 and 15 percent Oh, it's got a little damage. I think he's spectacular. If it was for me, I wouldn't think twice. I love weird Santa stuff. So many good cutouts of the Santa, too. Wait, look at this one. This. $20. Westmoreland. 25%. Excuse me. I think I'll take that. I love this Santa roly-poly, too. And then the little Napco set that's fun i have kind of like a random hodgepodge basket right now oh my gosh look at those are those candle holders those are so neat but also look at this goofy turtle <laughs> really great christmas stuff i love the uh head vase of course let's see all the santa lights so fun i'm obsessed with the little santa and the chimney planter 27 yeah that's about retail such a great curated collection though what i know the blanco but what is this this is kind of bizarre isn't it it's got paper mache boots what is what is happening here i don't see a price on him it's probably spendy he's got such great character oh there he is i still can't see the price SIT vintage. Oh, $59. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's totally fair. Look at his badonk donk. That thing's hilarious. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> now, some of you comment that I don't do the best job of showing off the whole item, and it's because one, I'm short, two, because I'm carrying a basket, and three, because I'm just enjoying myself in the moment. So I'm sorry if I didn't show that off the best. But while I was up there, I saw. Now, everyone thinks this is Mr. Toodles. It is, in fact, precious pooch not mr toodles 17 dollars, which is a really good price it's got a little bit of wear 
I'm on the fence about picking that one up. What an awesome Jack in the Pulpit. I think I'm going to pass since that spot. Um, I wouldn't be able to get like the top amount. Although I will say the last one I sold was like 40 bucks. So I feel a little silly leaving it behind. But still. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. Dude. Candy container. It's $12. Which is like a little steep for resale, but it's also kind of spectacular. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance on it. I don't know if I'd make money, but I don't think I'd lose it. And I kind of just feel like someone needs this. Yeah, it just had such a unique face and it was in really good condition. All right, um, right, let's see what else they got. Here's that. Fenton booth. I still regret there was like this really interesting uh, pink poodle one. The cats. I don't know this much that much about it. Sixty five dollars. Oh, that's for the bear. Seventy five. Fenton Christmas cats. I'm curious. Yeah, so it looks like that's going to be right around retail after the discount, which doesn't surprise me. Look at these guys. So fabulous. This one's 28. I can't really justify this. I love these Santa faces. Oh my gosh. See, this is like something I'm such a sucker for. Oh, and they say they work. Oh, now I'm never going to be able to get it back. <laughs> now over here, I do see this little, this looks like Gobel. Yep, a little Gobel duck, $3. And I guess it would be weird to not take the rabbit. <laughs> we'll take both. These are so cute. Look at these little chenille bug clips. $3 each. I'm taking both of those. Those are spectacular. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love the little chenille bugs. Um, What else do they have in here? Oh my gosh, stop it right now. Adorable. $5 each. I'm going to take all of them. They're too good. Yo, what? MCM Anthropomorphic Pinecone Pixie. That is insanely cool. Uh, I had one similar that was like Hollyberry, but it was when I first started reselling. I can't remember what it sold for. I remember being surprised. I wanna say it was like $39, which considering I had like not much following and had no keywords or anything, like I <laughs> better just like put it on. Um, that's so cool. I bought it, did it as a buy it now with free shipping and like it was gone in five minutes, which means you have something. <laughs> I don't normally go in here because I always find something like for me versus resale, like this jar that is insanely pretty. The dragon vase. Look at these. That's fantastic. Very cool. I love those like old toys with the patina on it. And what's this guy hiding back here? Not exactly what I thought. Weird troll. <laughs> this elephant bank is kind of different. Shrunk down. I can't remember what that means. I feel like it's like a calming thing or something. Lots of different stuff, but not exactly what I'm looking for today. Hmm. Now, during the shop along, we noticed these perfume bottles. I was obsessed with them. I'm sure they weigh like a small ton. We sold so many glass Christmas trees during the sale. It was kind of crazy. I love this bracelet situation happening. Really interesting jewelry. I think this is the coolest one though. It like changes colors. So different. All right. Now this is another vendor that I find a bunch of great stuff from. Look at the Christmas dogs. Christmas dog, $9, 20%. That's not bad. Bassett. Yeah, I think I'll take, I think we can afford a little bit more Christmas stuff. You know, I'm just nervous about buying Christmas stuff before. I just had that one, so I'm gonna leave it when it like arrives after Christmas. Wow, this is amazing. This is definitely harder to find for $12 and 20%. I will be taking that. This one is $25 and 20%, so it's like $20. 
it's pretty epic. Again, I don't know how well I do on that because of the face, but I definitely don't think I'd lose money at $20. I like the owl too. Oh, look at the little ladybug. That's adorable. I'll take that. Can't leave a ladybug. What is this one? Is this a mouse with glasses? Oh my gosh, it is. How fun. It's a little bit more than I'd like to have invested. Um, lots of trinket boxes. What do they have in their case over here? That's the real question. They have great stuff. Ooh, the poodle pin cushion and it's Florenza, which is a really good maker. I think I'm gonna have to get the key over here. Um, before I get the key for that case, I wanna make sure there's nothing over here I need. I love that ruffled edge bowl. You have this, oh my gosh, look at that carnival glass face. That's amazing. So cool. Um, carved solid amber, interesting kind of saw this during the shop long, but I was a little distracted. Oh, I wonder how much that bowl is. Oh, there it is. $40. 15%. Not bad, but not for me. I am going to go ahead and get the key for that other case, so. So fantastic. Not only is it a pin cushion, but it's also a trinket box, and it's pink. For $9 and 20% off, that was a no-brainer. Florenza is an awesome maker, too, like I said. I'm almost second guessing this because of that spot on the face. I'm not really sure. It's $25, so $20. It's not unreasonable at all. It's super fair. I'm just nervous about it for resale. One of my other favorite booths. <laughs> they always have such fun stuff here. I see a lot of little Christmas knickknacks that are pretty great. Nothing so far that I've just, I'm like, dude, I need that in my life, even if it's temporarily. But they've definitely restocked since I've been here last. That's one of the things I love about yesteryear. The turnover rate is insane. I've literally gone two times in one week and seen different stuff, which is so refreshing. <gasps> $25 and 20% off for $20. It's in pristine condition, has the original sticker. I'm definitely getting this. I am a sucker for Lucite. And here's that booth that we found, that awesome glass beaver last time. That was amazing. I love this candle. I don't sell candles. What is this, though? This has a very different look to it. Polish pottery. Polish pottery Santa. Huh. Polisovac. That's very different. It's $30. Is there a discount? 15%. It's 29, 15%. I think I might have to take a chance on that just because it's different. This one's 15 in German. No discount on that. It has to be over 20. This is really cool though. Yeah, so I think I am going to go ahead and take a chance on this. It's really unique. Uh, there's a few of the same maker online, but nowhere near the same actual Santa for $29 and 15% off. There's not really a way I'd lose money, I feel like. So. I'm gonna go for it. I am gonna put the one with the uh, damaged plastic face back. I know it's spectacular, but I really don't wanna gamble too, too much and try not to get too spendy, especially because all this stuff will be arriving after Christmas. Love these little angels, but they're $12 each. Well, I put the other Santa back. Somehow I missed this. $16 milk glass cat dish. I also missed this somehow. MCM Christmas tree ashtray. So that's six dollars and twenty percent. We're definitely gonna grab that. Um, Christmas tree ashtrays is a thing, by the way. And for the milk glass cat dish, the only thing is it's missing its eyes. I'm not sure if it matters though for that price. Yeah, for thirteen dollars, I'm just gonna take it up to the front and make sure there's no chips or cracks when I get a free hand. And. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. All right, let's not forget, I left the cases till the end. The first thing I see is this one. Oh my gosh, it's a winking sailor. It's $14, but it's 30% off, which means it comes to like 10 bucks, which also makes it a no-brainer. I'm a sucker for the little sailor stuff. This one's also super unique and has that certain je ne sais quoi. It's also winking, which actually adds value, I find. Now, over here, 
$94 for Mickey and Minnie. Wow, those are spectacular. I just had a bisque Mickey and Minnie toothbrush holder that had some paint loss. I found it at the Heart of Ohio, actually, for 20 bucks, which I think I paid $19 for it, actually, which was awesome. It sold for, like, 48 I want to say. I've never even seen those, in, and in such good condition, too. That's the other thing. All right, well, here we are. I just don't know if I can get over the size of that deer. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. I know I have to come back to drop something I forgot off. Anyway, oh my gosh, look at this. 1972 Pottery Bunny reading and chair. So fantastic. $20, 40% off. Uh, I'm going to need some keys either way. Doesn't look like the most fun thing to ship, but it's super unique and fantastic and signed. I love that. So for 20, I mean, 60, 40% off, good grief. That's such a steal. Uh, I'm going to look at the candle holders and yeah, there's a lot going on in here. A lot I like, but again, not going to get everything, everything. We haven't even addressed what's happening back here yet. Now, there's something really cool. I really like this yellow vase. That's 22 and 40%. I think I'll grab that as well. I'm looking for more cat stuff. I see the candy canes. Those are cute. The other thing that kind of caught my attention was this trinket box. I'm using my camera to see what it is. Can't really tell. And then over here... I know that elephant planter had damage. I almost got it last time. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get some keys and uh, see what happens. So this is what I ended up picking from the first case. This really unique cat and rabbit uh, pottery. I'm not even going to Google it. I'm just going to trust my instinct that the price is right. Uh, also... I picked up this. This is a really pretty pink marked Fenton dish. Really nice. $24 and 40% off. I felt like I couldn't go wrong with that either. Now, while I was down here, I noticed this little frog. $10 and 40%. That's, that's a no-brainer. We'll get that too. Now, walking around down here, I also noticed this. A fabulous Dream Pets raccoon. At nine dollars and fifty cents and forty percent. Again, I'm pretty careful with what dream pets I pick up because plush have been really going down the drain for me. But this one I feel totally comfortable at, especially um, especially with the condition and the fact that I've never even seen that one. Remember when I said I didn't want to ship that bird? Oh, it's full of liquid. Okay, good. I'm off the hook. That's too much. That's one too many things going on. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel obligated to get that for that price, but I don't want to touch it if it's full of liquid. It's just not worth it to me. Especially because I'm so sensitive to stuff like that. That one's got a little paint loss on it. All right, now, I just can't stop with this face. This is very cool. It kind of looks Japanese to me. It's really different. I don't think it's going to glow. But it's got such a unique look to it. For $22 and 40% off, I kind of just can't help myself. This kind of caught my attention too. This fish. Polished base. Let's see. Art glass fish. Cool color. $9 and 40% off. That is cool. I feel like you can't go wrong for that price. All right. Well, I do think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, it is really hard to leave this deer behind. Um, I think I have to come back tomorrow, <laughs> like I said, to drop something off because I totally spaced and left without something. Uh, plus, I'm going to save Black Rose for tomorrow, which I know is brave considering tomorrow's a weekend day. But I feel pretty good about the stuff I got. Really weird, eclectic pile, but good stuff. I spent $250 in there, and I am off. Uh, back to packages and packing for Ohio, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m.